fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo. Sometimes you find a watch that is such an incredible bargain that it can't help but grab your attention. We are talking about the incredible Zenith Elite HW. Uh, that HW stands for hand wound. I'm sure you know Zenith as the watch company that premiered the El Primero movement in 1969, one of the finest automatic chronographs ever made. It's an integrated chronograph that uh, Rolex even adopted in 1988 as their movement for the Daytona, used it until the year 2000. And at its uh, high beat, high rate, it can uh, calculate tenths of a second in the chronographs that use the El Primero movement. And it's a phenomenal achievement and certainly the thing that Zenith is best known for now. But it's an interesting company with a long history. They were founded in Neuchâtel in Switzerland uh, by a young 22-year-old protege, a, a, a genius of the watch world. At that time, most of the Swiss watch industry was what they call a cottage industry, where you would have small makers of dials, small makers of cases, small makers of movements, small makers of crystals, etc. And then the manufacturers were essentially just cobbling all these things together that were made to their order. Well, he had an idea at Zenith that he wanted to be able to uh, control complete uh, quality uh, over every single aspect and have all of those craftsmen in communication with each other, working close by so that they could really work together to build one of the best watches out there. And so that's what he did. It was really revolutionary in the world of Swiss watchmaking. Of course, that's the way everybody does it now, more or less. <clears throat> but Zenith is still one of the only companies that make everything in-house. So their, their movements are completely developed in-house. The movement in this watch was developed in the 1990s and it benefited from the use of not only the old school craftsmanship, but also the computer-aided design. They modeled everything before they actually built the movement. So they were able to work out all the kinks and uh, you didn't have this sort of struggles at the beginning, the way a lot of companies do when they first launch a new movement. So this movement is amazing. It is hand wound. Uh, really the highest echelon among collectors know that the Zenith movements are among the best there are out there. So you, you might spend a lot more on another watch, but you, you might not get any better design or finishing or movement quality. So that's why I say that this watch is such a great bargain. It's a, a, a Perfect size for a dress watch. It's 37 millimeter case. It's 18 karat rose gold. When you look at the side of it, you can see how the, how the lugs taper down. It sits beautifully on the wrist. It's a, a, a thin watch, much thinner than you'd normally get with, a, with an automatic movement. You can see it, it just sits great on the wrist. It's one of the most classic designs. It's not a, a jumbled dial with a lot going on that makes it cluttered. It really only has a few features on the dial, but that's part of what makes it so beautiful and elegant. Uh, when you look at it here, you can see that the dial itself, it's a guilloche dial. So it's a lot of hand engraving, hand turning uh, of the, the parts. And there are different finishes on different parts of the dial, which is part of what makes it really interesting. There's a, a, a separate sunray effect on the small seconds chapter at nine o'clock and then it's offset by it being at a different plane than the rest of the dial. In the reserve de marche, that's the power reserve indicator, you can see it goes up to uh, about 50 hours. Uh, we've got it somewhere in the middle here right now because I wound it a few times. Um, so that shows you how many hours of power reserve you got. It being a hand wound watch, it's nice to be able to just look down sort of like the gas gauge on your car and see how much power you've got, know instantly whether you've wound your watch enough or not but it has its own sunray effect uh, on the reserve de marche indicator. It has a date aperture here between four and five, and the center of the dial is, is all guilloche. There's a, a, a flatter track around the outside where the markers are applied. They're all 18 karat rose gold applied, and you can see it has the Arabic numerals at 12, four, six, eight, and 10. It has uh, dart markers, the other spots, and then it has a, a very subtle track printed around the edge as well. Uh, the crown is perfect for a hand-wound mechanical watch, really easy to wind, easy to manipulate. Um, the hands themselves are also 18 karat rose gold, really gorgeous. And you can see the case back. It's a closed case back. You can't see the movement, but it's got you know all the correct uh, hallmarks and everything you'd wanna see on it. It's an 18 karat rose gold tang buckle 
that it came with and uh, on the black alligator strap with the rose gold. Gorgeous combination. Perfect really for just about any situation other than jumping in a pool. Um, I could see this being an everyday watch, but at the price point, uh, there's no substitute for this. You certainly could spend a lot more money from a lot of other companies, but I don't think that you'd see a finer executed watch or one with a better movement or a better dial design or a better lug design. So this one is really uh, represents a fantastic opportunity. Click on it. Uh, give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo. See if it's still in stock. Click the bell to like and subscribe and uh, we'll notify you when we produce more videos.